Good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm just going to wash my hands here real quick. My name is Mary and I am a student nurse at uh, Chippewa Valley Technical College and I'm going to be taking your blood pressure today. Okay. Okay. And how would you be how would you prefer to be addressed today as far as your name? Um, um, Miss Ernst Sally Meyer? Sally? Okay. <laughs> that sounds really good, Sally. I'm just going to check your wristband real quick to see um, if I oh. got the right Sally. Hi. Band. That's okay. Okay, so um, can I have your full name and date of birth, please? Sally Ernst Meyer, 3766. Okay, let me just check my chart here. Chart. Um, okay, so we're going to check your blood pressure. Have you ever had that mm -hmm. performed before? Okay, great. So what we're going to do first is I'm just going to put this cuff on your arm. It's going to go on your um, upper arm there. And the proper way to put a cuff on is to make sure that it covers, the bladder covers two-thirds of the upper arm circumference and you're going to want to be looking at um, the brachial artery which is in the innermost part of the elbow and I am doing the blood pressure on the left arm so I'm going to make sure that the brachial artery is right there about one inch above the antecubital space so you can figure that's about one inch the arm should be resting comfortably at heart level which um, this is mm -hmm. and we also make sure that her feet are flat on the floor so that we get an accurate blood pressure it's important to do the right um, measurement on the arm just because we want to make sure we get an accurate blood pressure. So first I'm just going to feel your pulse, okay? All right. You have a really nice pulse there. Okay, and I'm just going to get an idea of where your blood pressure um, is running. So I'm going to go ahead and pump this up so you're going to feel a little tightness. Okay, I'm just going to let the air out here and release. Very good. So when I um, checked where your blood pressure should normally be running, it's about, um, I'm gonna pump it up about um, 150, okay? okay. Um, I felt it at 120, your pulse, so we'll pump okay. it up. So now I just need my stethoscope. Right. Um, All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean my stethoscope off here before I proceed. All right, very good. Gonna set that right there. All right, and I'm also going to just feel your pulse up here, so I know where to place the um, diaphragm of the stethoscope. Your pulse is right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump up her blood pressure to 150. And I'm gonna release two to three millimeters per murky per second. Okay, very good. 142 over 82 is your blood pressure. Okay, all right, Let's take that off. Good, very good. All right, so blood pressure is okay. Um, we do like to see it more around 120 over 80, um, but sometimes there's a lot of factors that can play into that blood pressure reading. All right, so we've got that completed. I'm just gonna clean my stethoscope off one more time. And do you have any questions for me, Sally? Nope, no questions. No? Okay, very good. All right, so we're gonna get this cleaned off and I'm just gonna make sure that my hands are sanitized. And then we're gonna go ahead and have you just sit here comfortably until the um, provider comes in. And um, I'm just gonna make sure that you have everything you need before I leave the room and you don't have any questions, and I'm just gonna make sure bed is locked and low, and you're really not on the bed, but you're in a safe position. All right, thank you very much thank for you. having me take care of you today.